welcome everyone to our 30 minute workout. It's Coach Adrian. Today's focus is legs. Lots of standing stuff. You will need a heavy object such as a heavy rock or a sack of potatoes. Um, of course, the weight is optional as well as a pillow or a way to elevate your activities. You can also use um, a foam roller instead of a pillow. All right, we're going to start standing with weighted squats. Go ahead, lower down. Focusing on your range of motion. Try to get your hips as much as you can. You're looking awesome. Nice warm today. Lots of reps, lots of toning. Think about integrating everything you did from our full workout yesterday. Doing belly button in towards the spine. Nice strong posture. In 10 seconds, we got one minute to most squats. Our feet are nice and wide. In three, two, and one, begin sumo squat, nice and wide, toes turned out. Don't feel this more in your inner thighs. Going down nice and low, still getting your hips. We have 20 seconds, and then we have narrow squats. With our big toes together, our knees together, and instead of feeling like this is the inner thighs, it feels more in the outer thighs. We have narrow squats. If it doesn't feel good in your hips, a regular squat is the modification. Three, two, one, or a wall sit. Here we go. Narrow squats, toes together, heels out just a little bit. You should feel it more in your lateral glutes, lateral hips. Of course, if knees together doesn't feel like it gives you enough range of motion, you can always go a little wider. So really think about feeling it in those upper hips. Thirty more seconds here. We're doing awesome. We got regular squats coming easily. We did twice. Three, two, one. Here we got second set. Regular squats. Then we got those sumo squats and the narrow squats once again. Lots of reps, like I said. It's leg day. Welcome to it. Get those legs nice and warm. Now, if you have uh, dumbbells, you can do a squat, curl, overhead press, and get in some arms if you like. Otherwise, just use whatever weight you have to make it a little bit more resistant. And focus in on your form, sending your hips super far back each round. Awesome. Getting ready, sumo squats in three, two, one. Nice and wide. Sumo squats. Down and up. Getting nice and warm. Thirty more seconds. 
out here in San Diego, we're sweating before the workout. <laughs> so it's all hard already. <laughs> Woo! Feeling it. So good. Getting stronger one rep at a time. Just 15 seconds. Stick with it, team. In 10 seconds, we got those narrow squats. One more round. And then we will use our pillow and use our glutes. Three, two, last rounds. Here we go. Narrow squat begins. Toes together, knees together. And so with this one, you're still trying to send the hips far back. As with everything, listen to your body. If it hurts your low back or your knees or doesn't feel like muscles are burning, do something else. You are the best judge of your body and what your body is ready for. Only you know what you did yesterday, the day before that, and this morning. Take rest when you need, otherwise we got no rest today. We are cranking it out. Just 15 more seconds here. And then our weight is down on the ground. Our pillow will be underneath our hips. Our feet will be together like a frog. And we will immediately begin lifting and lowering the knees while our feet face together in three, begin two and one. Hips down, feet go up and up. So you can see my pillow isn't quite elevating my hips as much as I need them to be. I'm getting my knees up like two inches, but I'm actually gonna need to fold that pillow. Fold it twice, more of a fulcrum. Goes right in the hip crease, heels together, flex your feet. You lift up, squeeze, slowly lower. Lift up, squeeze, slowly lower. Keep it going. Should feel this in the back of the hamstrings, your glutes. You're doing awesome, everyone. That fulcrum is necessary on your hip crease in order to really feel this. The key here is to lift the knees like six to eight inches up off the ground. Hold at the top until you really feel the burn. You're doing great. Looking so strong, everyone. Well, we're feeling this good. In 10 seconds, we have one minute plank. I'm actually just gonna lift up and go immediately from this position into plank. Three, two, one, right here. Start your plank. If your pillow's in the way, you can let it fall down. Hold and breathe. One minute here, and then you know the deal, we repeat. Total of three rounds repeating these. Plank and our uh, frog lifts. Looking good. Keep your head up. Notice if your head and neck are dangling. Imagine you're standing up and your head and neck would be against the wall. Just 30 seconds here. Looking good, looking good. Getting ready for round two of those glutes in 15 seconds. Five. Hips begin in three, two, and one. Here we go. Feet together, knees lift. Flex your feet like a duck or a frog. If it's not challenging, hold for longer. Lower down, slower. Press the heels together with all your might. This one's super good, one of my favorites. Spread your toes if you can. Create as much space as you can between those toes. Keep feeling your booty doing the work. You're doing so awesome. You're doing so strong. Keep lifting up tall. If your pillow's getting out of whack, fix it. We got 30 more seconds. You can even do two pillows if you really need. 
wanna do, wanna do what I, 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 I do what I wanna do. In fact, when I do this at the gym, I really like to use a foam roller because then it also uh, helps to open up your hip flexors. We got 10 seconds. And then we got our plank for one minute. You know it's coming. In five, coming in four, three, two, toes and elbows. Begin. Hold. You're doing so good. We just got one more round. Stay strong in your core. Stay up on those toes. You can do it. Just 15 more seconds. Get ready for those hips one last time. In five, four, three, two, and one, man, my abs are sore from yesterday. <laughs> it's a good feeling, all right. Our feet are together. We're lifting and lowering. Hold that pillow if you need, like I've demonstrated here. Press those heels together, spread your toes. Big glute squeeze at the top. Lift for longer, lower for slower. If it feels like we've been doing a lot of these, it's because the interval for this one is a minute 30 rather than a minute. That way you can really focus on holding at the top for longer, squeezing, slowly releasing. Press your heels together even more. Generate power, each rep makes a difference. We got 30 seconds. Keep lifting those knees. Feel each leg evenly doing the work. Looking strong, everyone. This is our last thing we got with the pillow. And then we got no more pillow stuff. Keep squeezing your glutes. 10 seconds. And then we got our last one. In a way, our flank is our rest for our glutes. Three, two, one, begin. Flank and hold. The wider your feet, the easier it is. You can have your feet hip width apart, even better. The more narrow, the more challenging, the more core you will feel. After this, we got some lunges and some standing stuff. So in 30 seconds, we'll be standing with our heavy weight and we'll immediately start our standing lunge and leg series. In 15 seconds, we will start with what's called back squats. Our right foot will go back and then pause and center. And we'll do that over and over again for one minute. We start that in five. Standing with our weight in four, three, two, immediately go into it. Grab your weight, back lunge, begin. Right knee back and center. One minute. Right foot can pause in the center or it can balance, depending on if you'd like to strengthen your ability to balance. Don't worry about how many reps you do. Worry about your form during this certain amount of time. We're already over halfway through our workout. Make it count. Keep pressing the ground away through the heel of the standing foot. We switch sides in five, four, three, two. Other leg goes back. Here we go, begin. Use your core to help you balance.
10 seconds. And then we have the other leg doing curtsy squats. We switch in three, two, one. Left leg is your base. Here we go. Right leg, curtsy back, center. Right leg, curtsy back, center. One minute. like your back slides down an imaginary wall. No folding forward. Thirty seconds. What's the good news about leg day? The good news about leg day is that your glutes in particular, as well as your legs, are your biggest muscles in your body. So by working them, you're working bigger muscle groups, burning more calories, getting stronger. Three, two, other side begins. You've got this. One minute. Spine is tall and long. seconds and then we switch the leg and we go down and up with our curtsies. Our legs will stay in a curtsy stance and we'll just lift up and down. Left leg will be our base in three, two, one. Here we go. Down and up. One minute. Keep your legs in this formation. You should feel this more on the outer side of your left glute. Thirty more seconds this side. Keep it going. Should we get nice and sweaty? Woo! Feeling it? Oh yeah. You ready? Let's go. Use your muscles. Stay present. Don't feel it in your knees. Feel it in your glutes. Squeeze. You gotta work your mind-body connection. Switching sides and four, three. Again, other side. Yep. We're almost there. Keep breathing. Thirty more seconds. Let's light it up, let's light it up until our hearts catch fire. In 20 seconds, our left leg becomes our base, and we have balancing with the other leg extended back, going down for a little uh, straight leg deadlift variation. I'll show you what that looks like. Get prepared to hold your weight with both hands like this in five, four, Three, two, left foot is now the base. Other leg goes back, and you lift up, squeezing your glutes. Lower down halfway, and squeeze up. Do your best to lift your arch without overcompensating with your toes. Big squeeze of your booty at the top. 30 more seconds this side.
Switching in three, other foot in two. One, here we go. Same motion, other foot is our base. But I got a feeling, it's a feeling that's worth dying for. Just close your eyes and hold your breath because it feels right. We'll keep it moving till we make it to the other side. And let's enjoy the ride. 30 more seconds here. And then we're in a sumo squat position and we will be pulsing for as many pulses as we can and then standing. Maybe five to 10 pulses and then we'll stand. Keep your weight if you can. Keep your balance, 15 more seconds here before we begin those pulses. Use your core, abs are strong. Two more squat pulse in three, two, one, here we go, nice and wide. Pulse as many times as you can, and then stand when you need a break. Go until it really burns, try to do two more, and then stand. Let's light it up, let's light it up until I- Looking good team, we just got 30 more seconds. In 30 seconds, our hands will be down in a hip thrust position or like a crab walk position. And we have a single leg lift. Um, modification will be shoulder blades down rather than hands down for single leg glute bridge. That starts in 10 seconds. Either shoulder blades down level one or hands down level two, lifting and lowering the hips. Right leg prepares to move up and down in three, two, one, no weight. Begin. Up and down. Up and down. Now, if you're doing this on your shoulder blades, you should do 30 seconds. Otherwise, we're going to do 15. Other leg in three, two, and one. Other leg begins. These hip thrusts are a lot more challenging, so we're switching every 15 seconds. If you're doing it on your shoulder blades, whenever I say switch, just count to two rounds, so you're doing 30 seconds. Keep it going, keep it going. All right, switch sides. You got this. Three, two, one, switch sides. We have less than five minutes. Sweat it all out. Less than five minutes in our workout today before we stretch. Three. Two, one, switch legs. Three, two, one, switch. Last time, this side. Getting ready to go on our hands and knees and move our left, right leg in a rainbow in three. Two, one, rainbow, straight leg begins. Out to the left, rainbow up and over to the right. Out and over to the left, rainbow up and over to the right. Beautiful work. The more right you bring your right leg, the more your obliques will also be working to get stronger and to help you stabilize. If this ever hurts your knees, you can double pad your mat or put a pillow underneath your knee. Keep it going, keep it going. Glutes are working hard today. We got 10 seconds, then we have the other side. Other side in three, two, one, begin. 45 seconds. This is a great glute exercise that's no impact. And it also gets your core. Beautiful strengthening everyone, just less than uh, 15 seconds here. We got round two coming on the other side in eight seconds.
three, two, one, rainbows on the other side. Looking good, everyone. So strong, so strong. We got 12 seconds, and then we only have one more round on the other side. Three, two, one, other side, begin. After this, we have one more working minute, and then we stretch. Our last working minute is your choice of either a plank for the whole time, you can add in some push-ups into your plank, or you can try to experiment extending opposite arm, opposite leg in your plank. Very challenging, very good for you. We got that coming in 15 seconds. Keep getting the leg up nice and high. We got our last working 60 seconds plank on your elbows or do what I do in three, two, one. Right arm, left leg, balance, lower down, other side. See if you can balance for one to three seconds. Woo! Oh yeah. Don't worry about how many rounds you get in. Just try to master your balance. You're using your core in a really integrated way with this one. And it makes the time go by. We're already halfway. Whew, keep it going. 30 seconds, my friends. You may notice one side's maybe a little more challenging for you like it is for me. Stay up on those toes, just 10 seconds. Last five. Four. Get ready for your child's pose in three, two, and one. Child's pose. Forehead down. Let's go back. Great work. When you're ready, come to a seated position. Child's pose is always too short. <laughs> Except for if you're in a yoga class, right? All right. Right leg on top, cross up and over. And the closer your bottom foot is, your left foot is towards your glutes, the deeper your stretch will be. This is seated figure four. Take a few uh, ankle rolls on your right foot and spread your toes as much as you can. You can see my toes are super spread. I'm trying to create as much space. Really helpful for balance when you have strong feet muscles. Also helps you to avoid any ankle sprains and injuries, running on trails, hiking, doing all the summer things that we love doing. All right, we got that other leg coming. Bring it up and over. Seated figure four on the other side. Same thing here. Spread your toes as much as you can. Notice the flexibility of your toes. Can you create a lot of space in between your toes? Or is that something you need to work on? A great way to strengthen those muscles is to either scrunch um, a towel on the floor with your toes or pick up rocks or marbles with your toes and start to use your toes with their fingers. Beautiful work. Right here, feet together. Bring your chest forward. Round your spine away. Keep our chest goes forward. Round your spine away. Lift up. Use your oblique twist to the right. Lower your hands down so that your left hand presses up on your right side. Hands come through center, other side. Legs straighten out, forward fold. Grab onto your feet or your legs. Head and neck surrender down. And we finish you with two big breaths. Breathe in, inhale, breath up. Exhale, clear out the breath. One more even deeper breath, breathe in. 
And release. Awesome work, everyone. Air high fives. You did it. Yay. Thank you guys for being